and Merry Christmas. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mike, and what I do are point of view hiking videos in beautiful 4K. While I go on a hike, I tell you a story. For example, today I'm going to talk about Christmas traditions. And I'm going to do that while you get to see what I see while on the hiking trail. I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and every Monday and Friday is when I tell a story. However, on Wednesday, I take a break, and instead, you get to watch the video without listening to my annoying voice. Yes, you listen to the sights and sounds of what's around me, and it's fantastic. And just in case you don't know, if you are new, I have cameras. Uh, ha well, they, they were surgically installed into my eyeballs, so you actually see what I see. And I have microphones that were embedded into my ears, so you actually hear what I hear. So it's great. It sounds awesome. And uh, looks great. And, uh, I mean, it's not good for me at all. You know, it's, it's kind of awful because it's a live feed that goes to the, to the channel, so everything is shown. And that's just horrible. Uh, really embarrassing, too. Like that time I was... Well, I, you know, and... Uh, never mind, never mind. I, I can't talk about it. So you could get this kind of nonsense banter and um, nonsense if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, I may actually do a point of view hiking video where the entire time I just keep doing this. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Subscribe. Maybe do it in different voices to make it more interesting. Subscribe. Go ahead, do it, okay? I want you to subscribe. Hey, hey, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe. 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 Okay, subscribe to the channel. Do it now. What I want you to do is subscribe. So it could be that. So make sure you subscribe. Also, if you like this video, like you find it entertaining, you love the sights and sounds of it, the way it looks, the way it makes you feel, the where you just like it, then make sure you show me by hitting that like button. All right. Just hit that like button. Don't tell me. Well, yes, tell me too. But also show me. Give me a little Christmas gift this year for, for creating these videos by hitting that like button. And if you want to comment on, you know, whatever we talk about today, go ahead. You know, we're going to talk about Christmas traditions. So if you have traditions that you would like to share with the rest of us, feel free to do so and leave it in the comment section. Now that we've gotten through all that blubbery nonsense, Let's actually talk. Hi, I'm Mike. What's your name? Why did you answer? I can't actually hear you. This is pre-recorded. I mean, I, 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 seriously, like, maybe you ought to question your own existence. Like, I said, hi, what's your name? And you actually said it. You actually said it. <laughs> uh, so seriously, what, um, what is, like, what, what do you hope for? for Christmas this year. What What's the big gift that you want? And I, it doesn't have to be like a physical present. It could be something spiritual. It could be something that you hope happens. What What, what is the thing that you would just love to happen this year? I can't believe you started answering that again. I mean, what is wrong with you? I can't hear you. This is pre-recorded. Okay. All right. Enough of that. All right, look, I know I'm being a little bit goofy today. I've actually been that way. I've, I've been recording a, a few different uh, uh, audio um, uh, voiceovers for these videos, and today I'm just in a goofy mood. It's probably because I have been working like crazy for the past few months. I have a bunch of websites. I, I, I advertise some of those websites here on the channel, and I've just been rebuilding everything and it has been a lot of work. And finally last night I finished one of the big one of my last big projects. So I feel relieved today. I feel a lot a lot 
better. Even though I haven't slept in months, and um, you can tell my voice sounds very deep today compared to normal. So I'm a bit in a goofy mood. But I wanted to talk about Christmas traditions. Every year I hear a lot about how the true meaning of Christmas is lost upon us. And to an extent I agree. But I believe deep down inside we all know the true meaning. And it's important to us. We celebrate not the birth of Christ, but his life and what he died for. So while we rush to the malls and light our homes to look like an airport runway, we hold on to what's really important during the holiday season. Now with that being said, I think the fact that Christmas has become about other things is not entirely a bad thing. When you are a child, everything is new and exciting. It doesn't matter what it is. I remember buying my first CD player. I was super excited about it. I had mowed lawns for months and months, saving every dollar I earned. All I could think about every day was finally buying it and bringing it home. When I finally did buy it, I was so happy. Now today, if I was to buy a new Blu-ray player or 4K player, it wouldn't cause me any big excitement. I would just go and pop the movie in and watch. As an adult, we have seen these things and lived through them over and over again to a point it becomes lost on us. Every year seems to be the same. As a kid and a teen, every year was very different. Each year had its own personality and style. As an adult, the past decade seems like one long year. There's not much difference between the years. With so much being routine, it is the holidays that brings back the excitement we seek. Christmas as well as Thanksgiving are filled with traditions. Things we do every year at these times and then pass them on to our children who in return pass those traditions on to theirs. We create new traditions as well. And these traditions have become sacred to us and get passed on from generation to generation. When the holiday season begins during the week of Thanksgiving, well, really not anymore, it's more like August 5th, I could feel it in my bones and in my soul. It's like the way the sun sets. It reminds me of years ago, the, the same way it would set in that same spot and that same color in the sky it brings me back to that time as if I'm there again. It's almost like a, a, a tight, warm hug grabbing onto me and holding me. And the smell of the season in the air and the familiar look of Christmas itself that recreates those warm feelings and memories. With a year where everything is pretty routine, it's nice to have a break for a month or two by doing things out of the normal. For many of us, we have suffered a lot of loss and have gone through a tremendous amount of change. Most of these changes are not good. I look forward to Christmas Day, not for the presents or even the food, okay, maybe the food, but spending time with my family. That's what I look forward to. We sit back, relax, relive Christmas past and create new memories. And what I have found as life changes around me and, and the years go on, that it's the one thing I can go back to. All of the things I have lost, I can never regain. But it's the, the traditions that take me to something familiar. They continue on year after year. They are the things that tie us to family members who are no longer with us. They tie us to a life we once knew, and they bring us back to our families. The one thing we can be certain of is that family is forever, no matter what. And when they are gone, we carry on the torch for them, especially in our traditions. What is so wrong about these traditions being a part of the Christmas and holiday celebration? The true meaning of Christmas is redemption, but adding 
tradition to that is not a bad thing. No matter what your year is like, no matter how good it is or how bad it is, we can always have something that brings us back to each other, our past, and gives us inner peace. These traditions can be anything. Going to the food kitchen to help the need. Leaving bags of food on someone in need's doorstep. Taking a walk in the cold and reflecting. Watching holiday movies. Having coffee with an old friend. Eating a special dinner with family. And creating the world's most brightest and most extravagant Christmas light display the entire planet has ever seen with 10 million Santa Clauses surrounding the house and you can actually see it from Mars. You don't need to have money or presents to even enjoy that house that your neighbor has lit like that. The thing is, you can make Christmas and the season whatever you want it to be for you. No matter how difficult and painful life can get, it is still a very precious and incredible gift we were given. Our time here is limited. It is up to us to do what we can do to make the best of it for however long we are here. I love Christmas. I have ornaments that I have owned since I was a child. I think about those little hands I once had picking up that ornament and hanging it on the tree. And now here I am all these years later doing the same thing with the same exact ornament, hanging it probably in the same spot. Last Christmas at my mother's place, I noticed something and I just started laughing. She has this built-in shelf that divides her, her living room from her uh, dining area. And I'm looking at the shelf and I'm looking at all the Christmas decorations she puts on them and I start to realize, wait a minute, everything is in the exact same spot it was last year. And she did the same thing the year before. And I just found that to be funny that it, it, it has become a tradition for her to decorate the shelf, but everything has to go where it goes. like. Like, Santa's not in a different spot than he was last year, and the reindeer is not somewhere else, and the snowman uh, musical box isn't over here this time. No, it's all in the same exact spot. No change. It's almost like you step back in time, and you're back to a year ago. And I realized that last year, and I'm sitting there, and we're having Christmas, and the, the my niece and nephew are unwrapping presents, and... I'm just sitting there watching everything and I'm thinking like this is exactly what it looked like a year ago. It was exactly like this. And that's the whole thing about these traditions. Because life will change all around us. You may be in a different home, you may be in a different town, a different state, a different country. Something changed in your life. You may have a new job or not have a job at all. You, you may be extra worried this year than you were last year. But here you are, it is Christmas day, and you are now living something that's familiar, a tradition. So that is my point. That's why I really do believe that traditions matter, and that we should, at least for this time of the year, go back in time and, and, and relive that past, and make it, you know, a, a memory, and, and something that can be passed on. I wanna wish you and yours a Merry Christmas, Thank you for watching these videos. I hope that you enjoy them. I know that each week it's a little different. The stories I tell are a little different. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're serious. But I'm really glad you, you come along and, and I do appreciate the support of those who have chosen to support this channel. A Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a very Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas.
That's right, weird sounding voice. It is time for a shameless plug. This is where I interrupt the beautiful, relaxing, fun video and I plug something shamelessly because I have no shame. Seriously, I have no shame. And today I'm going to plug the refrigerator into the wall. So you're going to get to watch that. We're going to plug it right in. So let's just go. No, no. Today, I am shamelessly plugging my role as the angry elf. Yes, the angry elf from the North Pole. Oh, uh, he's angry. As a matter of fact, let me have him tell you. What? You want a high definition video from me? Santa's angriest elf? For what? A promotional video for your business? Message for a friend or family member? Party announcement? What? Oh, okay, I'll do it. Right here at Fiverr.com. Just for you, a little video from me, Santa's angriest elf. Bah, humbug! Video extras? Like what? Background music? Your text? Logo? Blue screen? Ah, yeah, I got that too. Well, what are you waiting for? Order today, why don't you? Oh, jingle sticks! Oh.